What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got something really cool to take a look at. This is the Acer Swift X 16 inch laptop and it comes equipped with an Nvidia GeForce RTX 4050 laptop GPU and an AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPU. Not only that, but it is equipped with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a beautiful OLED screen. So let's take a look at what this thing can do. Now, I'm no stranger to the raw power from Nvidia cards and all the additional features that they have to offer nowadays, which I make full use of whilst gaming on my gaming PC. Going beyond the raw speed of the 40 series graphics card, you get such features like DLSS free for exceptional performance boosts and stunning visuals. Being able to experience silky smooth gameplay and accelerated creative workflows, which is exactly what we're going to explore in this video. The GeForce RTX 4050 laptop GPU unlocks all of the benefits of the RTX GPU range without breaking the bank, and that's reflected in the price of this laptop. That means it's going to be a great all-rounder for all your normal activities, creative work, and then some gaming in your downtime. So let's see how it does. Now before we get too deep into what this thing can do and just how much power it's kicking out, let's look at the shell. The Swift X16 is of course, as the name suggests, a 16 inch laptop that has a brand new design in a 17.9 millimeter thin, 1.9 kilogram light aluminium chassis and comes with plenty of available ports for connecting all of your peripherals. It also boasts an incredible 120 hertz refresh rate OLED display, which provides vivid color accuracy and remarkably deep blacks for both gamers and creatives alike. The keyboard feels great with a really nice feel to the keys and even comes with a built-in numpad and with a 33% larger touchpad to help aid for your precision. The colorway on this machine is called iron and I think it looks really nice in what to me feels like a very dark metallic gray. Well, that's the shell now covered. Let's see what this thing can do. First up, we'll take a look at how it handles some creative type work. I know many others like myself use Lightroom to edit photos and it's been an absolute dream to work on for this type of work. No issues at all. And with that incredible OLED display, it's made it really rewarding sitting here editing some photos. Now a disclaimer, I'm no photographer or really have any idea on the edits that I do. I just play around until I like what I see which is why responsiveness is even more important for someone like myself, as I go by what I see. But the laptop handled Lightroom with no issues at all, which as a creative is important, as having any program slow down or lag only wastes valuable time and adds unnecessary stress to your day. I don't really use Photoshop, but I'd be pretty confident it would have no problems whatsoever handling that application. Another tool I frequently use is DaVinci Resolve. Now DaVinci Resolve requires some power to run and my older MacBook actually struggles with this. So I was excited to see how this laptop here would perform. And again, I was pleasantly surprised at how well it handled DaVinci Resolve. Now again, I'm no expert with video editing and my videos are relatively simple with no major edits, but using it in the same fashion as I would usually, there was no lag or stuttering. You would hear the fan spin up as you would with gaming, but that's pretty normal for any machine or laptop. The touchpad was nice to use with the 33% size increase, and many know I'm a big fan of touchpads. And of course, the 16 inch screen is an added plus when it comes to this type of creative work. Of course, you could hook it up to a monitor, but we're here to review the laptop for what it is and how it comes out of the box. Now, you could likely push this thing further, especially making use of Nvidia's tools, like this studio app, but I wanted to test it against the tools that I personally use day to day to see how it would perform. Now we're going to move on to the fun stuff, gaming. 
The gameplay you're seeing is Diablo 4. The RTX 4050 supports Nvidia DLSS for an AI performance boost for even more frames. So we're gonna be playing with high settings and DLSS set to quality. And this looks so visually stunning, but is also super smooth to play. There doesn't seem to be any frames dropping whatsoever. The RTX 4050 laptop GPU allows you to play some of the latest AAA titles at 1080p 60 frames per second with max settings, which for this being an all-in-one laptop is pretty sweet. Now, Nvidia have been killing it recently, and not only can you seek a performance boost with more frames, but their max Q technologies, you'll also see an improved battery life. So it's faster, smoother, and will last even longer. The 4050 is clearly powerful enough to make this all-in-one laptop capable of doing all your daily browsing, sending emails, but then also being able to take it further and use it for your creative work, like photo or video editing. And finally, being able to hop onto some games for some downtime really makes this a great choice for the laptops in this price range. Overall, I've been very impressed whilst I've been playing around with this unit. As someone who daily drives a Mac, this laptop certainly lives up to the challenge. They have a few options with different specs in this lineup and would seriously be worth a look if you're on the market for a do-it-all laptop. Messing around on some Diablo with the 120Hz refresh rate OLED screen was great fun. With the ultra high contrast and true to life color, it certainly brought the game to life. I mentioned the fans earlier, but you also have control over these, with there being four different fan settings, which also includes a turbo mode, which will boost airflow by up to 42%. I've not personally played a game like Diablo on a laptop before, so certainly have been pleasantly surprised at how well it ran, considering I didn't have to knock down the graphics which is usually the case when gaming on weaker systems. So I guess the question still remains, is this laptop worth a pickup? And I'd say certainly, if you're someone who is looking for an all-in-one, then this might just be for you. Being able to do all of your normal daily admin tasks like emails or browsing the web, or even being able to code on this machine, but then being able to take it further by being totally capable of doing all of your creative work and then still being able to play AAA titles with decent graphics and frame rates speaks for itself. Then the fact that this is a laptop, so it's totally portable, giving you all of the power and flexibility to take it anywhere. I hope that you've enjoyed the review. Thanks to Acer and Nvidia for giving me the chance to review this laptop. And thank you so much to yourselves for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you soon.